<sighs> I just I was just online and I and I saw a story about uh, a, a boy, a young boy, uh, Archie Battersby. This is my first time of seeing that story. I didn't know anything. I just saw it, you know, or went online and knew that he had died after life support had been withdrawn. And I was just curious because, and the parents had been going through uh, legal battles to ensure that the life support is kept on life support. So I had to go and read up uh, about the situation and also watch, uh, I just finished a YouTube um, video that shows timeline of the event and it's so sad it's so sad it's so heartbreaking i just watched the mother you know talking about her child and you know as soon after he had died life support was withdrawn uh is it august 2nd or so and at 12 noon and he died 15 minutes later i mean it's such a it's such a terrifying thing and um, just to give and the reason why i'm doing this video is to say to every one of us that uh, we we as the especially that our parents most especially parents of teenagers those teenagers even preteen from like nine right now it's not even it's even big because kids are uh should i say maturing faster having because they have this world this this area of information that are available to them so they are very aware they're very conscious they know what is happening in the world and they have capacity to meet with people from different parts of the world and there are actually some sick sick adults who play children to get kids to do things uh, and so please let's 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 be in our children's lives let's know what's happening you're not the only influence in your child's life the social the, the online world is such a crazy it's a beautiful crazy world uh let's let me just give the background his mother found him uh with a ligature around his neck unconscious in their house and uh and i think that was in april so by the time they took him to to the hospital then he now had a cardiac arrest uh and then he was he was considered brain dead blood hadn't got into to to his brain so that during the cardiac arrest uh, or sorry oxygen was not supplied uh to his brain and that caused uh, a death so what the mom suspected was that he was taking part in an online challenge called is it something about blackout maybe you're supposed to press and then it, his, his went wrong maybe you're supposed to uh sort of like tighten your neck and or, or until you you have a blackout you know there are so many different online challenges some of them are so 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 dangerous a lot of kids have died from this uh online challenges i remember when i think that was around 2018 or 2017 uh, i got uh, uh let emails from my uh, my children's school uh, in Gordonston, uh, Scot in Scotland, and they sent us emails that there was a, cha a particular challenge. I can't remember what the, cha the name of the challenge is now. That a particular challenge was going on, and kids were taking part of it. And along the way, they are even asking you to commit suicide towards at the end, as the to get to the climax of the game and all of that. And the game was being banned in many in many countries, but you know, kids online, they still find a way in getting. So they were asking parents to monitor, to be aware and ensure that the children are not taking part in such games. You know, there was a time that they had different, a game where you do some random thing. I remember that time I was just sitting at the Unity Fountain and uh, waiting for uh, uh, for, for pro, uh, our seat out to start because normally I go quite early, get the things out it. And I just saw this car just drove in, um, a, a, just a black car uh, drove in and the child dropped out, entered Unity Fountain, did some weird things with the camera and everything, entered the car. This is such I was I was worried. I remember I had to even call my kids and say, What's going on? I was not talking about like, that. See what happened. And they were like, Oh, it's a particular game where they tell you you have to be at this next place, do something. I was like, game? What if it's somebody that is luring you to, to towards being being with them? It's not an easy thing with technology, but as a parent, parenting is not an easy skill and that's the reason why personally for me when i see people who say they don't want to have children i always say, i always say look if you know you really can't it's better not to have children i, I read somewhere and it was such a profound statement that the, the, the greatest activism is actually giving the world 
bringing up children uh, the, uh, to be good human beings, good citizens, and, and and all of that. I mean, having children is not just the fun of oh, I, it's not it's not about Instagram pictures, yeah. It's not about oh, I I do I have children. It's not about boosting something. These are human beings that you 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 are in in charge of sort of like the kind of life that, that we live, what they will turn out to be, the basis, the agency is so important. How you bring up children is so imp is so important that it's not something that we should be taken lightly. I, I, I normally would say that, look, you know, God is so generous when it comes to g giving children that everybody s seems to have it. This is why, so having children is such, it's such a delicate thing and it's more difficult with the world that we are right 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 in i i really feel so 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 sad for this parent you know the different things sometimes you have to blame yourself sometimes you feel could i have done more and they fought they really fought to keep him on to have him uh, taken to the hospice i know i'm rambling a bit but it's just such a painful uh thing and such a beautiful 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 child Ah, I just feel for his parents, honestly. But, you know, for every situation that we have, and for me, this is one of the things, that's the way I always say, every situation you have, what can we learn from it to make it better for other people? That's the thing that should be taken out of this. Please, 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 parents, let's watch what our children are, are watching. Talk to them. Show them these things. Talk to them about things. You can Google, if you're a parent, you can Google it. Just have a conversation age-appropriate conversation with your children over things like this and let them tell you what they're doing let them understand some of these things are dangerous because kids are daring that's the beauty about child being a child you understand you dare you don't believe that things are impossible you don't believe that uh, things can just end and so you 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 just dare to do things and it's very important for us for them to be able to have that guidance especially information it's not to come and meet oh don't do this do that blah blah no you have to give them the information you have to let them know why it's not good as a child that was what i wanted and i rebelled a lot because i felt i did i was i wasn't the kind of child i wanted you to just tell me don't do this and you expect me i would do i, I would always ask why why do you want me not to do it? And, you know, the adults are so frustrated. They don't want to talk to you. And so even when I have children, for me, it's always about, I don't give give my kids instruction. Don't do this, do this. Give them order. I give them information and tell them this is the repercussion. If you do it this way, if you do it that way, this is what the repercussion uh, is. And in that way, they're able to make informed decision, even as children. And then as they grow older, uh, they do that uh, more. So please let's engage more let's talk to them let's let's know what's happening online it's not easy i mean i look at it now like oh my goodness i see parents of at uh, this era i'm like wow I, I just i'm like i have maximum respect for them and i just keep praying for them you know because there's so much that they're working uh with that like, working against them uh, i remember when my daughter uh wanted to with my son let me start with my son really and you know this has i've been saying i will start series on on a child upbringing just to share my experience that i've had as a parent and somebody else can learn from me. it's not it's not the perfect way i've made lots of mistakes i'm still learning as a parent you never stop learning every day is a new day, thing to learn my youngest child is 20 i'm still learning and so i try to learn a lot of things even with their uh, uh, in their life what's happening uh learn from other people how to take care of se 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 certain things and so when my son when he went to school he was uh, uh boarding school he was i think how old was he then he was 12 i believe when he started boarding school and he came back home he was on on facebook he had opened a facebook account i didn't uh, because i was very unfamiliar with online I actually joined Twitter 2014 because of Bring Back Our Girls mo uh, Movement. YouTube, I joined YouTube 2015. I was so not online. I think I, it was a friend of mine that made me join uh, Facebook. And I'll go there once a year, once in... Before 2014, I wasn't active on social media at all. I didn't even know most of the social media platform. I didn't know Twitter until 2014. So I was, I was a book person. I was an offline person, book person. So my son came back on 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 youtube I'm like what what's going on here 
uh, he was on Facebook and I found out that you know they had account they falsified their age and stuff like that what kids do and so with my daughter I knew I okay I knew I had failed in that aspect with my son I didn't talk to him about all that so that was when I now did it with him with my daughter and I was like okay we had the conversation I was like no wait until you're 16 when you're 16 you can make decision to join online I explained to her the reasons no, no, there are some people who are there. You don't know who you're talking to. There are some adults who play children. They are not children, but they pretend to be children. They love all the children in. And there are some people that will know you. And lo and behold, the week that I talked to my daughter about that whole her joining, uh, because a lot of her friends were already on social media. She felt, you know, kids. And I'm like, no, just wait until when you're 16, it's your decision to make. That same week, was when in Nigeria, I think some of Nigerians will understand, there was this, is it a general's daughter or something, a retired soldier's daughter that was lured from Benue, I think it was, to Lagos State, but by some people she met on Facebook and they killed her there in a hotel. If you remember that, it was that week that I had that talk with my And when I saw it on, when I when saw it later on, on, on newspaper, I brought it to my daughter and we had discussion over it. Because these are some of the things you do because sometimes they don't get to understand it. I watched some crime uh, 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 things, um, uh, not movies now, crime, real crime investigation. And I'm say the one that related to ch children. I sit down with my children and I discuss it with them as young, when they were teenagers and all of that, so that they will understand. And guess what? Today, my daughter actually thanked me for not allowing her to be on social media uh, quite early uh, because she sees a lot of her contempt. Sometimes things that children said when they were young being used against them now. I mean, some of the things that people are doing, saying, and stuff like that, you know, uh, people having to apologize. She said, look, when they were 13, when they were 12, you know, this is the age where people are impressionable. Kids say things, they do things, and they, they want to copy, they want to belong. You know, you're, you're, you're having that identity crisis when you're turning uh, 10, when you're, uh, when you're turning 12, 13, 14, your body is changing, you don't know who you are, you're no lo longer the little child, you're not yet, you know, an adult or something. Your body is such a traumatic moment for some uh kids if they don't have the right guidance and then maybe things you did or things you said they are recorded it's so and i see sometimes when i see some people now they're feeling like oh you know this children of this day i'm like no we we actually did same thing we were the same thing or you know even worse uh, in, in some cases but the thing is that there were no records the things we did were the things we did and you know the memory has a way over time you forget about this things these are forgotten but what children are doing now, they're being recorded and they're there forever. That alone is traumatizing on, on, on itself. So it's very important for, for us to, to go. I think I, I will start that weekly, just talk about children and upbringing, having children and, and stuff like that, sharing my own experiences, uh, the high moments, the low moments, the fun moments and, and stuff like that. And and let maybe one or two persons would, would, would learn from that. Um, the parents of Archie, uh, 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 may God give them the fortitude to bear the loss. I just saw the boy, oh my goodness, such a beautiful child. I'm like, gosh, sometimes this word can be so cruel. I just love, love, love and hugs to the parents. It, this is so, this is so traumatic. And I, I just hope something is go done about all of these people who, who put out this 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 heinous challenges that they give children uh, to do, knowing fully where that some of these things can lead uh, lead to harm. There are even some way people are being pushed to to commit suicide, all in the name of game. It's really not fair, and I think more 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 stringent measures need to be taken uh, on 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 such people. Thank you so much for listening.